Hey guys, welcome back to my tiny place. On today's video, I am now going to show you another cleaning video or a cleaning routine. I'm going to show you tricks and tips on how to declutter your clothes and how to actually know what to get rid of and what you're not using anymore, etc. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join me in this journey. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me tell you my huge announcement and the reason why I have to declutter instead of keeping things that I don't really need in here anymore. So in six months, actually five or so, I am going to be moving out of my parents' house. The moving situation has gotten me to the point where I really want to declutter and actually move out with the things that I actually will wear in the future. And I don't want to just keep saving my clothes for no reason. If I'm not gonna wear it, why should I keep it? And there's other people that might need it even more than me. So for that reason, I am going to be decluttering my clothes. I did this last week as well. Um, where if you saw my very first video on on my cleaning routine, I believe, you saw a huge black bag um, of things. I did take that bag downstairs, that way I can just take it to the Goodwill, to the thrift store, or to church so I can donate it. This time is getting trickier. I have tips and tricks on how to get rid of the things that you know you want to get rid of, but they're still here. There's different type of ways that you can actually do this. Um, without doing a lot of things. Um, the first thing we are going to do is actually you want to have all your shoes laid in this in the same direction. So this one I will be keeping. This one's Jesus, I don't even know. I'm not really a fan of these things anymore. So I will just keep them like this. And all of the ones that I'm going to be turning around are the ones that from here until let's say a month or two, I'm going to be knowing if I wear them or not. That way I know 100% which ones to get rid of. So for the Converse, since I know I'm not going to like them anymore and I just don't wear them, these ones are actually going to go bye bye right now. I actually wear these all the time, so I am going to be keeping these ones. These ones are also a must for me because they're super comfy and they're high heels, I mean wedges. These ones I always wear. My heels, uh, I will keep these. So these ones I am giving away, I don't like them, um, they're very uncomfortable and I will just donate them. Um, I just keep them there just for the nice look of it, but I don't like them anymore. Um, this ones I will keep. These ones are always a must for any type of work or just anything in general. This type of heel, um, let me show you, let me get closer. This type of heel is very comfy um, and some people don't like them because they look like granny style, but I feel like it's the in-between heel, it's not the high heel, it's not the short kitty heel. It's actually in between, so I really love these, and I am going to keep them. This one, I am keeping, I am keeping those. My tennis shoes, this ones I do wear. This ones, I am going to be turning around. This ones, um, I like them, so I'm like, I am keeping them. This one's also, this one's also, this one's also. <laughs> This one, I love them. I only use them once. My boyfriend hates them. Um, but I am going to be turning these ones around. I am keeping this one, this one, and this one I do use. This one's, um, I am going to be turning around. They're old either way. Um, Actually, this ones I am going to get rid of because they are separating. I'm going to be showing you. They're from Forever 21. They were like $10, but I want to show you. So you see this, how it's separating. And so I don't want to use them. They're a very nice beige color, and I know that they match with everything, and they're comfy, and they're wedges, but I am not going to be moving with broken shoes. 
So these ones are like the long boots. I am going to be keeping them because you never know. Boots are boots. These ones, um, I am going to be turning around. These ones, I only use them, I think, once. They're from H&M as well. Um, I'm going to be turning these ones around. This ones I like and I'm going to be keeping them for a little while. This one's two, this one's two. This ones, I will pass on them. This ones is the same situation as the black ones here, but this one I bought actually at Black Friday. They are from Ralph Lauren and they're also leather and they're like that type of like cowgirl style. And I will keep these as well. This ones are huge on me, so it's time to get rid of them. Okay. This ones I love. They're from TJ Maxx, and they were the best find ever. This ones, they're old, but they still work. <laughs> they're really comfy, so I am, I am giving them. This ones, I am giving away. I was thinking about it so much, and I just, I am giving them. These ones are from Sarah. I love them and I've been wearing them non-stop. So, keep. These shoes are from Aldo. They're the best, you guys. But they're really, really like hard shoes. They're very uncomfortable. But I am going to be keeping them because I just love them. These ones I'm going to be turning around just because I don't know if I... I mean, I haven't worn them. I only wore them, wore them once. Um, and I believe they're from Agashi, Agashi, whatever you, however you guys want to call it, I don't know. Um, so I am going to be giving them a turn around here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of shoes in here, and I feel like that did a lot. Um, like I said, I did do a declutter last week of the things that I really don't want. So these ones are like the the ones that I was like, uh, should I keep? Should I not keep? Should I keep? Should I not keep? So they're going away. See, this is one of the things that I don't know. I don't know if I really like it, but the things that I don't like, I am just going to turn the hanger around because all my hangers are, you can see, are all in the same like um, direction. So what I'm going to do, instead of having it like this, I am going to turn this around. So I know this is going to be my guide for whenever in a few months I know, hey, like I'm not really going to like that. I'm not really going to use that. So let me just get rid of it. I had a situation and I will tell you 
um, because I don't I don't care. Um, so a lot of my clothes didn't fit me. Uh, it was I literally gained a lot of literally a lot of pounds. Um, but um, of course they were not a lot. But based on the clothes that I had, I did I literally my pants did not fit. I'm on the ketogenic diet now. Well, I've been for two months, and now my clothes fits again to the to the point where I feel comfortable. So um, I did wanted to hold on until I, I was like, let me let me try to lose weight a little bit because I was very unhealthy in the way that I was eating very like a lot of crap. Um, so I, I really wanted to like put it on to myself and just like I will be fitting in my clothes again because I didn't want to spend more money and going to buy like bigger clothes where I have a lot of clothes that I really like still and I just needed to lose a little bit of weight. So I did, my clothes fits again, and now it's where I can actually try on things and actually like, actually tell if I can, you know, if I will be wearing that again or not. So a lot of these jackets did not fit me, like at all. And see, like still, see now it actually fits in my arms. I am a girl with big arms and big legs and everything but see this like this fits i can actually wear it and i will keep it and i only try it on in one arm because i know if it fits in that arm it will fit on the other For the makeup situation, it's a bit complicated. I already got rid of like a huge box of makeup. Um, when I was cleaning and every time I clean, I always say the same thing. Um, it's like I want to just have a minimal collection. Like if you can see what I wear today, day to day, um, it's ridiculous. It's like three, three products. Um, I'm not even kidding. But then the same goes as for, oh my God, what if I have a party and then I need like a, you know, like this and that and I had it all and now I don't, like I got rid of it so now I don't have to go get it. it
that will be it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you got to this point and i am very excited to get doing more videos for you hopefully this video was helpful for those of you who are moving or just want to get rid of things and don't know how to even start so yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so and thank you for following this journey with me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys